Hey there from Bug Eye Guys. We've got some really special bug eyes here. I think they're all special, but these two are two of my favorites ever. Why? Because they're really well sorted, really fast, really nicely upgraded. These subtle details like these Dunlop tires, I just think that's cool. They just look great. They're more money, but they look cool. These are the ones we normally use. These are 155s. Why? Because they're on an electric car and range and tire width are correlated. So we want a little bit narrower tire on this car. So no, no Dunlops here. But today I want to talk to you more about this super cool electric car. This is our third Froggy. And I have just put another like 80 miles on this car. So I'm getting to know it better and better. And I am just ecstatic about this product. Ecstatic, I tell you. It's super cool. So here's the thing about this car. It does everything we always ever wanted Bug Eyes to do. And we've had to work hard to get them to do this stuff. This thing was a lot of work, but it's one of the best cars we've ever built because it's reliable, it's consistent, it's smooth. I know there are those of you out there who are not into electric, but I'm really into it. We've only made three. We've done 403 bug, uh, bug eye gas cars, so there'll be lots more gas. But this is something that we want to be really proficient at, and there are a lot of customers who agree this is a cool new innovation. So let's talk about why I love it so much. This is the fuel gauge system. This is definitely light years ahead of our first two cars. This one, this iteration, allows us to see exactly where we are in the range process. Of course, if we had an OEM new electric car, we'd have a little counter that would say you got X miles to go before you need to charge. This tells me that at 64.9 miles ago at my trip odometer here, I fully charged it. And now I'm at about half. We have an analog gauge to try and keep the vibe of an original bug eye. But we also have this more smartphone looking thing hidden a little bit behind to just tell us also uh, graphically where we are. And with 65 miles, a little bit less than, um, a little bit above half a tank, if you will, at 65 miles, we're optimistic that this could keep going up to 100, maybe even 120 miles if you use it around town. I put these 65 miles on on the highway at about 60 to 80 miles an hour in 40 degree Fahrenheit weather. And so uh, that's obviously going to reduce the range because of aerodynamic drag on the highway and efficiency loss because of 40 degrees Fahrenheit, it's cold. So all of this is working and it has this amazing heater by pulling this knob. We turn on the, the hot coil behind the dash here, I'll show you that, and blow hot air in and it's actually quite pleasant, especially with this new Stay Fast top, beautiful blue Stay Fast top. So. If you haven't seen this car in our prior videos, it's got a 220 charger right there. So that's where you load up on juice. It's a beautifully restored car. And if you want one of these, this one is for sale, but we can also make one out of your own car. If you have a bug eye that has no engine or something, we can electrify it just like this. These are Tesla batteries from a Model S in here. We've got, I believe it's 32 kilowatts. So we have... Uh, Roughly 100 to 120 miles, depending on how you use it. I think what's really exciting to me about this car is that I've been driving it from 60 to 80 miles an hour on the highway over the last week. I've got a great video for you on our website if you want to see that. And it, it rips. I mean, 0 to 60 at 7 seconds is really fast for a classic English sports car. I know by modern numbers that's not scorchingly fast. Lots of cars can do better than that in terms of zero to 60 speed. But for a 20.5 second zero to 60 car, which is what a 948 engine would have done, this is, this is a radically different departure. And on top of that, everything has to be perfect. You gotta have it set up right. Bug eyes have never been known for highway stability. Obviously some people who've had bad front ends will describe a bug eye that hits a bump and moves laterally. You can't do that when you're going zero to 60 in seven seconds. It becomes dangerous. So we, of course, have sorted these cars, both of them, gas and electric, really the cars we build. We know how to get them to track properly and how to make the suspensions work properly and what modifications help all that. 
And that way you can take a car and move it outside of its original comfort zone and make it into a really spectacular sports car. And that's what's so exciting to me about this is to have this little bug eye with all the personality and charm of the car and the integrity of the car protected. I know some of you feel like we've taken out that soul, but for me, if I had to choose at this moment between this car or this five-speed 1275, also very quick car, I'm really liking the electric mainly because my job is to make sure my clients don't have problems when they're out driving their car, that they don't have issues. They're not calling me and saying there's an oil leak or that their, their car doesn't downshift into second because the synchronizers are worn. All that stuff is gone. We don't have leaking carburetors, oil leaks, all of the things that we work so hard to minimize and optimize on the gas-powered cars. It's just all ripped out of this. So there's something quite wonderful for me, being a builder, to not have a lot of those headaches. You do have quite a challenge fitting all this in here. Fortunately, we can do that. I know people ask me if they can get a kit. It's really challenging. And if you haven't done several of these, I wouldn't recommend a kit even if we could sell it to you because it's hard to get everything to speak to one another, all the pieces to speak to one another, everything to work properly. I would encourage you to send us your car. We'll pick it up quite happily anywhere in the world. We'll convert it for you and send it back. So that's what we're up to here. Uh, another thing about range that I think is really important, just worth sharing in this video. There may be people out there, you know, if your Tesla goes 300 miles, that you want 300 miles out of your bug eye. But remember, it was a seven gallon gas tank. So if you got 30 miles to the gallon, that's 210 mile range if you ran out. I'm generally looking for 170 before I check to, or you know, stop on a highway trip in my bug eye. So 100, 120 miles in an electric bug eye, it's, it's plenty of range for the platform. Sure, if you live in a, a rural place where you gotta jump on the interstate all the time, more range is better. But for me here in the Northeast yesterday, I made a 35 mile round trip on Interstate 95, averaging 65, where I wasn't in traffic. It was a little lower in traffic, but by and large, a highway trip of 35 miles, and it was roughly an hour. So that's plenty in a bug eye. If I'm gonna go on a longer trip, I'd rather have a longer wheelbase, more plush car with air conditioning and things like that. So 100 miles, 120 miles in a bug eye electric is really ample range. Everybody fixates on the number, but um, depending on where you live and how you use it, it's, and if you're just using it around town, I bet you could get even more range than that. So that's our froggy and our tour today of this Bug Eye. Check out the driving videos. It's really a spectacular machine here from Bug Eye Guys.